Well, hey everybody, how are you? I'm gonna do a video today on the seven principles of on which to build your paralegal career, okay? So let's talk about the first one. You know that in, in a lot of videos I talk about researching on Google about the areas of law that you wanna work in. And I've had people say to me in the past, they never thought about it. Well, it's very important uh, I know some of you watching this don't have an, an inkling of what area you want to work in, but it's important that you look at the job ads that are out there, but you also, because that's important, you, you don't want to prepare for something and there are no jobs available. That wouldn't make sense, you know? So make sure that you look at the job ads and out of the ones that you're seeing and watch them for a while and then go research those areas of law. Is anything lighting your fire? Have a clear view of what you want and why. And use your notebook to write down all of the things right in here. Write it down in your cheapy notebook or have a place online that's private for you um, or on your phone where you're keeping track. But I would write it someplace where you're sure it won't get lost and have that in front of you, that, that mission statement. Like, what do you want to do? That clear view. Now, when you land your first job, they already have a mission statement, or they should, or they have a clear view of where that workplace wants to go. Excuse me. So, it may be that they don't. And they're just kind of flying by the seat of their pants. That's the way some business owners run their business too. It's not a good way, but that's what happens. So as you go along in your first year, in your first job, you're gonna see whether the way you see yourself, how you wanna operate meshes with how they operate. It doesn't always mesh and sometimes it does beautifully. So that's the goal is to mesh as, as um, you know, closely as possible to what you, who you are, what you want to do in your career, and what they're doing, okay? So number two, competence. In the beginning, excuse me guys, we do not we do not feel very competent in the beginning. We know there are areas when we're first starting out where we need help and we need to uh, research some things and get better at what we're doing. That is a constant. Through 30 years, I've never stopped learning. So, you know, make that your goal is that your competence level will increase, okay? And you'll start off with some competencies, you know, you'll feel somewhat comfortable about what you know, but then it's going to blossom. It's going to, you're going to grow like crazy, okay, if you're open to it. And then make a commitment to the success of the workplace in which you're working, as well as a commitment to yourself that you won't sacrifice any uh, moral standards that you have or ethical standards that you have in place for yourself. Don't compromise that. There should be a commitment to yourself. It's not about, I, oh, I must follow everything they tell me to do. No, I've been asked to do some unethical things by attorneys. Yes, and I said no. So um, ha make a commitment to yourself that you will take the high road, even if the workplace takes a low road, and you will not budge on that, okay? So something called constraints, or that's number four, or hold back. What if you go in as as I did, a legal secretary, legal receptionist, but there's no place for you to move into or no way for you to move into a paralegal, full-fledged paralegal position where you're uh, maybe not answering as many phones and you're, you're really working on cases. 
and that's what your goal is like you have individual goals I had a goal of doing that and I saw that I was going to be I was hitting a wall after about six months that that was probably not going to happen so I had to make some choices don't let anybody hold you back or constrain you from moving forward okay um, you are the leader you are the orchestrator of your career no one else number five creativity um, you have to be open to trying new things you have to not say that I am computer illiterate if you are saying that right now that's something you should get out of your vocabulary you should start to hit it hard in learning some things on YouTube about Microsoft Word. Use YouTube. Use these things that are out there for you now to increase your value to the workplace and hit it hard. Make, make goals for yourself. If when you get home or you are home and you, you know, and it's tough to have any free time to yourself. Boy, you've got to grab 15 or 20 minutes somewhere during the day and focus on becoming better at whatever it is you need to um, increase your knowledge in. Okay? So your creativity will come with your time and how you spend your time. And for me, it was always going to be the lunch hour because when I went home, there were it just so much stuff was happening my I had two daughters living at home going to college for a while um, or working and so there were four of us in the house there wasn't you know I wasn't gonna come home from work and then go hole up in my makeshift office in the bedroom so um, I know what it's like not to have a lot of time you have to be creative you have to be creative with how you manage your career. So you want to make yourself well-rounded. And if you work for an attorney that has two to three areas of law or in a workplace that has two to three areas of law that you're going to be involved with and exposed to, that's a beautiful thing because, boy, you're going to be so well-rounded. You know, after a year, you won't believe how far you ha you will have come. All right, so continuous learning is number six. Creativity was number five. Number six is continuous learning. Use YouTube for technical information that you need need to improve in an area of software. I'm telling you, I use it every day. Or go to Google and do research about areas of law, but what do paralegals do in those areas of law okay and then consistency people will rely on you when they see consistency they see somebody who comes in earlier than they're expected to come in just had this conversation with my grandson the other day um, is he on board with that not really but uh, he will be down the road you know, I, I had a mentor tell me, come in, if you can, 15 minutes early. Um, did I want to do that? No. Could I do it? Yes. I was a single, unattached woman at that point, and I had no children. I could easily get there 15 minutes early. For some, that's a little difficult. So, but if you can do it, do it. P the the um, employer will get used to seeing somebody they can count on who takes the job very seriously that you're a person who will remain calm in very stressful situations even though you may not feel calm inside but that's how people viewed me but I wasn't calm inside <laughs> I was upset inside because we were up against some crazy deadline and we managed to figure it out so when they see that they know you're a reliable person when you think outside the box and come up with some solutions they'll come to rely on you as that go-to person okay and when you are a positive person and you're not complaining all the time when you're not a gossiper and speaking of all that be sure that <clears throat> you can scroll down in this feed and you'll see 
um, the Paralegal Career Secrets Black Book. Be sure you get that. That's a complimentary PDF. No charge for that. Go get that. That's going to be um, in a series of these PDFs and t they're eventually. But I want you to see that one. Get that for yourself. It's totally savable on your computer as a PDF, so I would get that. But scroll down through the feed and you'll see, oh, it's probably several days ago, but it'll be the Paralegal Career Secrets Black Book, okay? Um, an effective paralegal will not be blown about by the wind. You're not going to be influenced by people who are, you know, the negative people in the law firm. You want to avoid that as much as possible. You want to put your head down and work, but still be friendly and offer help when they need it, but don't get into the whole gossip. Uh, I would call it a web, like a spider web, because you really don't want to do that. And it does get noticed when you participate in that, okay? It was noticed that I did not participate in one law firm and attorneys told me so. But, you know, will people love you, be, you know, the, the staffers because you, you're like, oh, you're distancing yourself? No, but the, this is all about you and your career and building a rock solid foundation for your career. And one that takes, a person that takes the high road all along the way no compromising your values and if those are values that you don't have right now personally get them and take that high road and it will serve you well in the future okay so those are the seven things and yeah I had to do some changing personally myself um, I, I used to like to listen to gossip and that type of thing and participate in it but it really do, does not serve you well. I speak from experience. Um, and you could end up where they don't, you know, I, I wasn't let go from a job because of it, but I just felt like personally, I wasn't happy with myself doing that. And then I started distancing myself. So um, follow those seven tenets, those seven principles, and you, your career will know no bounds. Now be sure that today's the last day of the fourth anniversary pricing for the cover letter secrets class and the paralegal inner circle class. People are jumping on board. Um, from the time I launched it at the fourth anniversary pricing, people have been jumping on board like crazy um, for both classes. So check those out. You can scroll down and find the links. I didn't post them today uh, for both classes, okay? And check them out. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so have a great day. Um, if you're into football, there's the Super Bowl tonight. So everybody's revving up for it around here. You should see the supermarket parking lot. So have a great one. And I will talk to you next week in some more videos. Bye.